Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Face of the Community. And today we have Kenzie Lawton, President of Castleberry Chamber or Castleberry Chamber President, uh, marketing guru for all in construction, and someone that's very involved in the community. Hi Kenzie, how are you doing today? Hi Tim, good to see you. Nice to see you too. So tell me, who is Kenzie? What makes Kenzie tick? Um, my, um, I don't know. <laughs> um, I guess um, I'm an outgoing person and um, enjoy just being involved, being busy, and um, being creative. That kind of sums me up. Awesome. So yes, you are very creative. So tell me, tell me some of the creative stuff you've done within the chamber. Sure. Um, you know, in the Castleberry Chamber of Commerce, I've been involved in many capacities over the years, small or even now as leading with the presidency. Um, but I do try to always think outside the box or try to get creative with things that we're already doing. And I'm a big advocate and just trying things. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but you never know. So I just always am, um, I guess you would, if you ask my peers, they would say I'm always offering ideas. I'm an ideas person. So like a few years ago, we combined um, our business expo with um, a live event in the parks, just to try to get the community more involved in the businesses instead of having the business expo in like a closed off, you know, conference room type setting. And we had mixed feedback, honestly. Um, some people didn't like the great outdoors um, or didn't understand um, the networking aspect of it. And then some people really liked it because they were already out in the parks at an outdoor event and they were exposed to businesses. So that's just one idea of just being creative and throwing things out there, seeing if they work. Awesome. So tell me, how has it been transitioning to president in a COVID world? Um, definitely just unique. I definitely didn't have really any expectations and you really can't. And um, Tim, you were the president last year and definitely helped guide me and understand the responsibilities and the day-to-day -day, you know, decision-making that needs to be done and the guidance that you have to offer to the members of the chamber. Um, but even with your presidency, you know, that we were a complete pretty much shut down, doing everything virtual. And then now in this new year with me as president, um, it's kind of a transition. So we've started off virtual, we're easing back into live events. So right now I'm just faced with kind of drumming up that engagement again. Um, obviously, we just want to see people face to face. We want to get people re-engaged, re-excited about getting out into the community and not hiding behind a computer screen. So um, just again, going back to being creative and then just networking and using my relationships to drum that support up. Awesome. So obviously your presidency doesn't pay the bills. So <laughs> what do you do for all in construction? I wear many hats at All In Construction, but my title is Marketing and Business Development, and I absolutely love the company, I love the culture, and um, love my actual position at the, at the uh, company. So we um, are a general contractor renovation company, so we do home remodeling and renovations, and my job is to promote the company, get us involved in the community, basically get us... Um, engaged in um, what the industry is doing and our industry partners are doing. And just hopefully that supports and drives additional business for years to come. And um, so business development is all about relationship building and really looking at what our business can offer our clients and how we can fit the mold of our community. So we'll just say, if I was a customer, and I wanted to use all in construction, how would that process look? Sure. We're very customer service oriented because we do service only four counties right now in Central Florida. So we're very um, community oriented, close knit, and very hands on with our customers. So if you called our office, um, you would talk to our coordinator and she'd collect some 
general information about what you're looking to achieve. Are you looking to renovate a kitchen, a bathroom? Do you have a specific budget you're trying to work within and how we can guide you on that? And then um, do you have any timelines involved, things like that? Are you working um, on a renovation loan where you have have a closing coming up and you need to get an estimate before closing? So finding out all those um, details, then we'd send an estimator out to the home to meet with you and your spouse, your family. And again, just fine tune, figure out what you're looking to achieve, what you want, what you don't want. And obviously look at the structure of the home, take measurements and photos so we can give you a very detailed estimate. Um, a lot of contractors work in many different ways and our niche is to offer extremely detailed estimates, um, try to get our pricing exact so there isn't any surprises down the road. Renovations have so many moving parts and most people do one or two renovations in their lifetime. So you really need to trust your contractor and know what to expect. That takes a lot of stress out of it. So that's kind of what happens when you call us um, and we have an app. Once you hire us, you can track your progress of the job. You can see when things are scheduled. You can track communications with your project manager. And it just really helps, again, communication and customer service. Everybody's on the same page. And then we warranty that work for a year. Um, and honestly, we'll warranty it usually a little bit longer because we really care about our craftsmanship. And if something does go wrong, we are standing by our work. Um, but we warranty our work and our subcontractors work, and we want to make it a beautiful investment. Awesome. Awesome. So... Yeah. 2021 has been very interesting. So what challenges has your company dealt with, especially since I'm sure you've had building supply issues and supply chain issues? Because I'm seeing that everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, being in construction right now and anything really in home services, uh, real estate or any home services is a blessing. Um, because we all are so very busy and have so many opportunities to work and grow our business in such a, I hate to use the term, but like uncertain time. Um, and that goes for 2020 and this year. In 2020, we were blessed again to be extremely busy um, when a lot of companies were furloughing their um, positions we were actually hiring. And we were really supporting a influx of um, customers calling in, wanting to do work on their homes. And I think that had to do a lot with home values. People have a lot of equity. They um, don't wanna move right now because the inventory is low. So they're like, well, instead of trying to find that dream home, let's create the dream home. And also people are just spending more time in their homes and realizing their homes need to serve many purposes. So they're willing to invest those dollars back into their home. I even had one client tell me, well, we couldn't travel and go on our European trip this summer. So we're going to renovate our entire house. So, yeah. so, you know, people aren't traveling. So that, that, that's extra savings is going back into the home. Um, and there is a really good return on investment right now for renovations. Um, but challenges wise, um, as we went into 2021, um, we just started seeing, because everybody's busy, not just all in construction, that it, there were some material delays, um, pricing increases from our materials. The subcontractors that we use, like plumbers and electricians, were also busy. So the time for jobs of, from start to completion started to creep up. Because instead of getting a guy out there to do something within three or four days, we were having to wait two weeks to finish a plumbing job or to or get an inspection. And then the municipalities as well are overloaded. So, you know, the building inspectors and things like that, they're taking a little bit longer to file um, and approve permitting. So it's important that we stay on top of these trends. So we started ordering materials earlier we started having our clients make their selections a little bit earlier so that we can try to combat some of these delays. And then obviously just adjusting our pricing and being honest and forthcoming with our clients that there are going to be increases, but here's how to plan for them. And um, so really it's just trying to stay on top of things, be one or two steps ahead of it and know that it's gonna, you know, 
ebb and flow and we'll get through it. But um, luckily our clients are very happy. And I think because we offer that hands-on customer service, um, it helps, like I said, alleviate some of those stresses. Awesome, awesome. So you like to travel, I've noticed. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite place that you've been to so far? Hmm. Well, I would say my favorite place is just always the beach. If I can go anywhere and someone said, pick a place, I'll pay for your vacation, honestly, any beach. Um, and I have many favorite beaches, but I would say I was lucky enough to go to Ireland a couple years ago. And I think just because of the, the distance and how unique it is, and it's just a new land for me outside of the United States. Um, that was one of my favorite trips and I would go back. I loved Ireland. Um, they love Americans there. Um, the food was good. Um, the scenery is beautiful. I feel like there's so much more to see. And um, so, yeah, I really liked that. And then surprisingly, I went to Alaska against my will. I don't like cold weather. <laughs> but I actually really liked it. So <laughs> I will say, just try some things, I guess. You might like it. So you've heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Try Alaska and Ireland rocks. Yes. So, all right. So before we finish up, tell us, where do you see yourself at the end of 2021? What are you hoping for with all your endeavors this year? Hmm. I know. It's a good one. Up. I know. Well, as, as in regards to Castleberry and the community, um, I live here, I've lived here for 10 years. Um, I am a big advocate of Castleberry, Castleberry businesses. I think we're a little hidden gem. I love what like Parks and Rec does with um, the music in the parks and then obviously the chamber. And I'd love to see more people get involved with the Castleberry Chamber just because it really is a place for everyone, whether you just live here, volunteer here, involved in a church here, or have a local business, whether it's Castleberry or the surrounding areas. Um, I would love my work and involvement to make an impact in that and get more people engaged and excited about the neighborhood we live in. And through my business, I obviously um, was all in construction. We sponsor things in the community. We also like to get involved with the neighborhoods and um, revitalize some of the older homes through renovations and remodeling. And we have some beautiful like mid-century homes here in Castleberry that I'd love to renovate a few of those this year. So um, I'd love to make an impact here in the community with all of the endeavors I'm involved with. And I hope that I can do a little bit of those things and that would make me feel like I had a successful 2021 for sure. Well, I'm sure you can accomplish that all. Uh, you got about six months left. Okay. I'll get to work. <laughs> no, no, no pressure. But More coffee. <laughs> yeah. But I want to thank you today for your time. We appreciate that. Learning a little bit about you, the chamber and all in construction. And ladies and gentlemen, please feel free to check out the comments. I'll put in there contact information for all in construction and Kinsey. So if you want to get involved with the chamber or if you're looking for renovating your home, she's your go-to girl. Yeah. Also we're on um, social media, obviously. So all in construction, Facebook and Instagram. And I post before and after photos. So everybody seems to like those. And I actually just made a reel recently and it got 30,000 views. It went viral. I think that is considered going viral. So anyway, follow me <laughs> at All in Construction. Guys, don't let your wives look at the photos on the Instagram or else you're <laughs> going to be falling into a renovation loan to renovate your home without even knowing it. Yes. So but thank you so much for all that information. We'll definitely make sure to share that as well. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome.